Hi everyone. Okay. In the last video, we saw this. Um, we proved this that um, we have a repeating or a periodic continued fraction alpha. Then it's the root of a quadratic polynomial. And if alpha dash is the other root of the polynomial, then um, it lies between negative one and zero. And if we look at um, you know uh, negative if we look at uh, the reversed like r periodic continued fraction then the other root alpha dash is negative 1 over beta okay but there's actually a converse um, it says if we have um, a root of the quadratic polynomial ax squared plus bx plus c and the conjugate root to alpha is alpha dash between negative 1 and 0, then alpha is actually um, also a repeating period, like a periodic continued fraction. Okay, and I'll just, um, we're not going to prove this, but I'll just lay out some of the steps. First, you let d be uh, the discriminant of this equation, so b squared minus 4ac. And the first step is that you prove that there are um, finitely many alphas of this form which whose conjugate lie between negative one and zero if you call you i guess you might call this alpha an alpha like that regular so you've proved that for fixed d there's only finally many um solutions to this inequality okay that's step one the step two is to show that if alpha is regular, so it's like it's the root of a quadratic polynomial with um, we're we're fixing d throughout this proof, so we can write alpha as p plus q over p, p plus q root d over r. Uh, that so the second step is to prove that if alpha is regular and you expand alpha as a zero plus one over alpha prime, then alpha prime is also regular. It also satisfies this inequality. Okay, and here comes the next step. Well, you write alpha as a0 plus 1 over alpha 1, where alpha 1 is regular. Write alpha 1 as a1 plus 1 over alpha 2, where alpha 2 is regular. And now, because there's only finally many um, possibilities um, for these alpha 1, alpha 2, and so on, eventually you must repeat and you can actually show that at some point alpha k you get a k plus one over alpha if you and if you uh, unwrap everything you see that alpha has a con periodic continued fraction um, of course there's like a lot of details to fill in but um that's the the, the main points okay um so as as so so I'll stop there with the proof, and then and um, in the next video I just want to give a quick video a quick explanation on finding the um, like the continued fraction of square root of n.